Good afternoon, everyone. If you don't know me, I am the FOB, that's Father of the Bride, and it is my pleasure to stand up in front of you on this special occasion. We have some exceptional family friends and members of the family have helped us put this special day together. We are forever grateful for your kindness and support and love. They say it takes a village to raise a child, but I think it takes a village and your friends to put on an event like this, it really does. So it's so nice to have everyone you care about in one place. So it all started 29 years ago. You were born at 1am on Sunday morning and I remember the day of your birth like it was yesterday. I remember holding you and have this amazing feeling of love and wanting to protect you and look after you and I still feel the same today. The only thing you really wanted to do was work with horses. We bought you a little pony Spencer and then we carried on, went to the pony club, went to our first event. So then he went on to riding other people's horses, the old bit of teaching and eventual forming AH eventing. And if you want to like, subscribe, feel free. Mm. Mm. So, so this now incorporates buying and selling horses, teaching liveries, running two yards, and being a successful YouTuber and a vlogger. And I'm very proud of you and much enjoy being part of the success. And we have lots of laughs making all the videos and the vlogs. So you've completed up to four, competed up to four star with a number of top ten placing at this level and this is seriously some achievement. You know, you're up against the best riders in the world and we, we are actually up against them. And so you deserve a right old round of applause for that, Ash. And I really hope that we can carry on with our Monday Hacking crew for years and years to come. I love spending time with you, Ash. We do fall out from time to time, but I actually love it. So, Ashley, you look absolutely gorgeous today. And walking you down the aisle brought a proper little tear to my eye. I, Scott Robert Morton. I, Scott Robert Morton. Take you, Ashley Ellen Harrison. Take you, Ashley Ellen Harrison. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till, de till death us do part. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. In the presence of God, I make this vow. In the presence of God, I make this vow. I, Ashley Ellen Harrison. I, Ashley Ellen Harrison. Take you, Scott Robert Morton. Take you, Scott Robert Morton. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. In the presence of God, I make this vow. In the presence of God, I make this vow. Ashley, I can promise you in front of our friends and our family that I will spend every waking moment proving to you that what we built was worth the wait. I'm incredibly humbled and excited to call you my wife. My heart is now full and I love you more every single day. Here's to the future and after all that we've been through to get here, I can't wait to see what comes next. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand and join me in raising a toast to my beautiful wife, Ashley. To Scott and Ashley, I won't leave you with a cliche quote, quip, or try to muster together marriage advice. But you have positively impacted the lives of everyone in this room, 
a room full of people who have their own individual memories of you, but most importantly, wish you nothing but absolute success, fun and long-standing happiness together. Thank you for giving us this opportunity to, to celebrate your special day together. Please raise a toast. I give you Mr. and Mrs. Morton. You know me as the bridal mum, and with our speeches nearly done, there's just a little more to say on Scott and Ash's special day about why lovely Scott and Ash are really such a perfect match. They're lightweight drinkers, what a pair. There's no mad boozing happening here. They're both cheap dates, a Scott and Ash, a soupy squiffy, perfect match. Their coffee habits are the same. Shared caramel lattes are their game. Another tick for Scott and Ash, a frothy coffee, perfect match. Their cooking skills are just not brill, with neither keen to fire the grill. On this again, our Scott and Ash, they're hungry, but a perfect match. They're super soft on doggy dreams, for both our canine mad it seems, a furry nod to Scott and Ash, a cuddly puppy, perfect match. Both useless with a Google map, their nightmare navigation app. Whilst lost together, Scott and Ash again are such a perfect match. They're not that great at clearing up. They're happy leaving out their stuff. Untidy, that's our Scott and Ash. A messy but still perfect match. We could go on, there's so much more, but we think you know the score. We feel it's very safe to say that in so many varied ways, our happy couple, Scott and Ash, they really are a perfect match. If I speak in the tongues of mortals and of angels, but do not have love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith, so as to remove mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away all my possessions, and if I hand over my body so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind, love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way, it is not irritable or resentful, it does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. But as for prophecies, they will come to an end. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will come to an end. For we only know in part, and we prophesy only in part. But when the complete comes, the partial will come to an end. When I was a child, I spoke like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became an adult, I put an end to childish ways. For now we see in a mirror, dimly, but then we will see face to face. Now I know only in part, then I will know fully, even as I have been fully known. And now faith, hope, and love abide. These three, and the greatest is of love.